so now let's work on the right side of the header which is going to be this one okay so the first thing that we're going to do is simply go back to our code and we're going to go inside the header rights and first of all we're going to have a link which is going to be for the profile so let's call it profile link okay and also going to have the hover one and this link is going to go to it's going to be forward slash profile and inside this we can have an image and the source of the image we're going to get it from the react redux okay so the way if we open the redux again right here which is going to simply go to the user and we're going to get the picture from here so we can show it in the image okay and also going to get the name and all the other stuff so the way that we're going to do which is simply we have a function a function that's called the use selector so you can go right here import it so import the use selector which is going to be from react redux okay this this you know this function give us the access to the react redux store okay so simply we're going to have const and we're going to extract const and we're going to extract extract the user and we're going to use the use selector okay now simply we're going to take the user and just spread the values of the user okay so it's going to be like this okay so this is the way that we get user so now if we went right here and we console log the user we can open the console and we're going to see in the console we have the informations of the user okay this way so simply now whenever we want some informations we can simply go to the user dot and get any informations we want okay so simply right here i can just go and in the source it's going to be a variable it's going to be from the user and it's going to be picture okay like this and we're going to make sure that as you see this is the image it's, it's not you know sad but we're going to make sure it is after so we're going to make sure also that if you have if you don't have the user you don't throw an error and stop the code you know and uh, uh, damage your application is not going to work okay so simply add the optional chaining which means if we have the user then the source is going to be the picture and that save us from a lot of problems that can happen okay now we're going to go to the span and in this span is simply going to have the user optional chaining also and then the first name okay like this and as you see we see it's right here okay so and after this link which is going to have a bunch of icons so we're going to have a div let's call it circle icon and inside this we're just going to have the uh, the icons that we have so simply the first one is going to be the menu which is going to get it from the svgs okay it's right here so we're going to use it and style it to be in the right way so we simply can copy this it's going to have also the messenger and also going to have the notification and the arrow down okay so this is going to be for the messenger if i can write it i think i've switched languages sorry from the svgs also this is going to be a notification from the svgs and the last one is going to be arrow down like this is the first one no, the first one like this okay so now we have all the icons that we're gonna need so let's go now and work on the styles to make this look right okay so let me go to the style and after this we're just gonna go uh header right you should have add like a, a code right here to understand where you add so when you are in the middle the left and the right i think it's you know good to understand where you are so display flex position is going to be absolute and it's going to be right zero and right eight, eight pixels sorry like this so it's going to move to the right and also we're going to have a top to be 50 percent so it's moving the middle of the header i'm also going to have a transform to make sure exactly in the center so translate y and it's going to be minus 50 minus 50 percent okay to be in the center exactly okay and we're going to fix that when we change the image uh, height and width okay so let's go to the profile link this is going to be display flex align it some center and also a gap to be five pixels okay and then the cursor is going to be pointer and uh, the padding is going to be from top three pixels 10 pixels from the right three from the bottom and six from the left okay uh, the border radius is going to be border radius is going to be 50 pixels okay and the font weight is going to be 600 and the font size is going to be 14 pixels and the line height is going to be 19 pixels and the margin right is going to be 10 pixels okay and now we're going to go to work on the image inside so profile link and we're going to select the image 
is going to be with 28.7 pix pixel and same way is going to be for the height so the height 28.7 pixels like this and now it's going to take place so the border radius 50% and the border we're going to have a border which is going to be one pixel and it's going to be solid and it's going to be this color so b0 b3 b8 okay and also going to have a transform to translate a little bit on the x side and it's going to be minus one pixel this now we're going to select the span inside profile link and we're going to take the span and margin bottom to be three pixels to push it up top as you see like that so let me see what else we have so we're going to have the circle icon so now we're going to work on them so the circle icon and let's see we have position relative height is 40 pixels the width is going to be 40 pixels and also border radius is going to be 50 percent so it's round and also going to make sure everything is center so display flex align it in center and justify content center whenever you want to center everything inside just display flex align it in center and justify content center imagine right now eight pixels and the background is going to be the third so var is going to be pg third okay and then we're gonna have a cursor to be point like this and as you see everything is coming to work okay so also we can go to them and you know add the, the hover so we can go back right here right here and let me add the hover one for them okay not here but here also here hover one like this okay let's see now and we have the hover effect okay so now I think this is all right. This is pretty fine, I think. Okay, everything is positioned the same way, I think. Yeah, it's just different of the name <laughs> right there. Okay, so we can also like have the notification. So let me go back right here. And we're not gonna have it in the notification. Okay, so we can go right here to the notification and let's call it the trade notification. Okay. We have like a five okay like this and i'm gonna take that and go back right here and let's work on this okay so it's gonna be position to be absolute that's why we have the relative in the circle icon and top is gonna be minus six pixels and the right is gonna be minus five pixels so like this let me see what else the background is gonna be this color which is going to be red so a4 1 a3 f okay and then we're going to simply have a border radius to be 50 pixels and the padding is going to be one pixel then six pixels and also the font size to be 13 pixels and also the color to be white okay like this and now we have everything right here okay so now if we go back from here to here it's exactly the same the only difference is the image and the name okay like this okay so now we're done with the base of the whole header